I was watching a video on YouTube today and then reading the comments and there were the usual great content, all of that. And then there were some other comments that really struck me and there were quite a few. And I see these comments on lots of videos, but I had never paid attention to them before. And they were, I want to start a vlog or I want to start a business. You've seen those types of comments. What gets in the way of us doing the things we want to do, especially in the online business and social media worlds where getting started is not a huge, expensive process. Well, let's talk about that coming right up. So, what are the reasons that we don't start? Well, I've come up with four, and that's probably not an exhaustive list, but I think it covers the main ones. Number one, I don't have time. Well, that's a pretty common excuse. I think we all say that. Um, I have found, though, I have 10-hour days that I work. Actually, with lunch, it's 11 hours that I'm away from home and a 45 minute drive on each side. I found on those days that I work, I still can get a fair amount accomplished with just a few minutes in the evening working on it. And if I'm focused on it and I'm doing something I really like to do, which I really enjoy the process of making videos and teaching people how to improve their businesses, improve their social media experiences, um, I can spend a little time doing it every day. And really, you can get a lot accomplished when you spend a little time doing it each day. Would I prefer to have full time to work on it? Of course, but uh, you can make it work with a limited amount of time. A few minutes on your weekdays, let's say, after work, and then a few hours on the, uh, on the weekends. Overcome. Number two, I don't have the money. Well, if you really have nothing extra, you've got a problem. That's true. But we're not talking about starting a McDonald's franchise or some other franchise that's going to cost millions. We're not even talking about a regular brick and mortar business where you may spend hundreds of thousands to get it going. We're talking about a few hundred to a few thousand dollars at the most to get this going and over some time, not all right up front to make this business work. And if you're talking about um, making some money on social media, much of that is practically free with things you probably already have. And that brings us to the third um, reason why we don't get started, and that's I don't have the equipment. The amazing thing is now, the equipment that you need to do most of what we do on social media, and a lot of what you need to do on a business is a smartphone, which almost all of us have. A smartphone and maybe a little relatively inexpensive uh, tripod, a few things like that, and it's amazing how much you can do. Yes, it is nice to have a laptop or a desktop computer to do some of the things, but I know people who do who are very successful, in fact, who have big YouTube channels, let's say, as an example, who do everything with their phone and a few things to hold their phone, like a selfie stick, a little cheap flexible tripod, uh, just a few things like that. And it's amazing what you can do. HD quality, everything. All right, number four, and this is the big one, I think, for most of us, I don't know how to do it. Well, that is a legitimate excuse. None of us know how to do it. What we're talking about here, online businesses, haven't been around for a long time. Online has not really been around for that long. Doing things on social media, the social media platforms haven't been around very long. And to really know how, they change their algorithms practically daily. So 
we're always learning. All of us, even the most successful, started from zero. You can do it too. So how do we learn? How do we learn to do that? Well, number one, we practice. That's the biggest thing. That's how we learn the most. Number two, it's well documented on YouTube and the other social media sites. And, and there are training programs out there that are rel relatively inexpensive. You can learn how to do it. <clears throat> so you can learn by doing and you can learn from, from others out there. Much of it free. Okay, so is it worth it to do that? What are the steps to success? Well, I think there are really just two but I'm gonna give you three anyway. Number one is what this is about, get started. Just get started and do it. Number two, keep going. Keep going until you're successful. See there? That's the two steps. But I added a third one. Still keep going after you're successful. The easiest thing to do is to keep something going. Getting started in the first place is the hard thing. So keep going. So your income at least continues, if not increases over time. That's really all there is to it. Okay? So, what do you do if you're already working on this stuff? What do you do to get started? Okay? Tell me down in the comments below. What do you do to get yourself started when you're doing something new? All right, I hope that's been useful information for you. If it has, definitely hit the like button. That's important. If you have questions, put them down in the comments section. I do try to keep up with that. As usual, I have put in my link below this video the uh, four critical steps to a six-figure income in your online business. Check that out. I think you'll like it. I think you'll be glad you did. All right? That's what we've got for today. But let's talk soon.